All right, today I'm going to show you how to make an English dish called crumpets. Well, I'm going to make a slight variation on it because instead of using traditional yeast, I'm going to use beer, so I guess technically we're going to make our crumpets. Anyway, here's what you need to get started. Uh, you need to have flour. I'm going to use a mixture of white and wheat flour. You need baking soda. You need some um, salt, some non-stick cooking spray, beer, obviously, since we're going to make crumpets for the yeast. We're going to need some honey. And you're going to need things like mixing bowl, spoon, measuring cup. But most importantly, you're also going to need three of these little devils. And you can buy these on Amazon. What they are are 4-inch rings that you can use because the, what we're going to do is pour the batter into the rings to give the brumpets their, their shape. So you'll, you'll kind of get it. We'll, we'll go through this and, and if you look at the uh, uh, page I'll also give you the uh, URL for Amazon so you can order these things. I think it cost me all $8 uh, delivered. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with our flour. I'm going to use a little over a cup of white flour and I'm going to use about measured cup of the wheat okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to that half a teaspoon of baking soda and we're going to stir that up gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt Enough. Stir that up. All right, and then if I were using the traditional recipe, I would be pouring in my, my water and my yeast. But since we're going to use beer and turn these things into brumpets, we kind of have the thing combined into one package. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in half a cup of this bad boy right here, brewski. All right, and then we're going to take Mr. Spoon. We're just going to mix it around. And we'll have to add, you know, might have to add a little more as we go because again, we want to get this thing. Basically, this is a variation on beer bread, which I showed you how to make before. All right, the difference between crumpets and beer bread. Also, we're going to add our honey. Add about a quarter cup of honey in there. Mixing. Eventually we'll end up adding the entire bottle of beer because again the way crumpets work is they're kind of like somewhere between pancake batter and bread dough. So you want it to be a little loose, which as you can see it is, but not so loose that it runs like pancake batter. Alright. One of the other things you should do is leave the beer warm up a bit. Alright. So now, what we're going to do is finish mixing this all up. And then once we have it mixed up, we're just going to put a little towel on top of it and we're going to let it rise for half an hour. So, set your clocks and we'll see you back here shortly. We're now at stage two of the brumpets. What we've done is I've put the rings in the pan and covered it up with a lid here and I turned up a slow heat and I've let the uh, let the rings warm up so I'm going to pull those off. I also made sure I gave them a nice little shot of non-stick cooking spray and then all you do is you just fill them up. Take your batter Put it in the ring. And then what we'll do is we'll seal these babies up for about five minutes and then we'll flip them over. We'll see how our brumpets come out. Okay, and you want to put enough in there to give them a little taste, but again, they don't need to be like full to the top as you can see and then we just stick our lid on there 
And we're gonna we're gonna set our timer for five minutes, and then we're gonna flip them over. So we'll be right back. All right, if you can see through the lid, they poofed up a bit. So I'm just waiting for the timer to go ding at five minutes, and then we're just gonna pull the rings off, and we're gonna flip these bad boys over. All right, let's see what we got. So you gotta be careful with the little rings because they get hot. All you wanna do is just you shake these loose. You just turn them over, like so. That's the reason, too, that you want to be careful on the heat setting, because if you set the heat too high, what you'll end up doing is burning your brumpets, and we don't want to do that. There we go. There we go, one more. And then we'll set her for five minutes again and repeat. And, you know, with this batch, you should get about six of these bad boys. If you want more, just double up. The brumpet. Get our first batch of brumpets out of the pan. What's nice about these, these things can be used, they're like English muffins, but they're much, much nicer texture. They can also be used for hamburger buns. You know, they're uh, really all-purpose bread. And the great part is you don't have to heat up the kitchen to do it. So then what we do for the next batch, we put our Bring them back in here. We have a little shot. And then we go and repeat the process. That's all there is to it. Just keep doing it until you run out of batter. Doesn't get any easier than this, kids. Alright. So we'll have enough for another couple here. So like I said, depending on the, how much they rise, I've gotten up to 12 out of a batch. I think in this one we're going to get probably about 8. Set your timer for 5 minutes and then come back and flip them over. Here you have it, the finished product. And as you can see, just like an English muffin, they're all full of little nooks and crannies. I mean, so they're great with things like jam on them. I use them for sandwiches and as a hamburger bun, they're absolutely brilliant. So anyway, there you have it, the beer battered English crumpet, otherwise known as the brumpet. See you next time on Man Cave Munchies.